Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today I'm going to be checking out this no-name, I guess, white van subwoofer. I'm actually not sure if it's white van or not. It has some pretty interesting labeling on the back. Now it's, I'm not sure how you even pronounce this name, uh, Kosh or Kosh. <laughs> Exclusively distributed and imported by KGK Electronics, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. This Class B digital apparatus complies with Canadian blah blah blah. And then it's all in French as well. <laughs> Gotta love this Canadian stuff. There's a warranty sticker on here, actually. Oh, it's a very brittle warranty sticker. I just touched the corner of it and broke a little piece off. Caution, risk of electric shock do not open. Double insulation when service servicing use only. Identical replacement parts. That's a weird spot for a period. I noticed that all these labels are kind of stretched out and they're not really uh, printed on there very well on the back of this. So we have six RCA inputs for all the surround sound channels. That tells me that this must have come with like a, uh, maybe a DVD player or some sort of receiver that came with this setup. So not only is this an active subwoofer, but it also amplifies all the satellite speakers. Here's the outputs for those. As you can see, they are actually RCA cables. These are for low level inputs and outputs. You shouldn't be using these for your speaker levels. That was an old way of doing things, but you know if you see the RCA cables these days, that's just a dead given sign that you have some China junk on your hands. Got a cord, RCA cable. Hopefully we don't burn the house down. Ooh. It made a nice uh, pop in the woofer when I plug that in. We got a green light. And I hear a lot of buzzing. <laughs> there's nothing plugged in. There's no volume. Yeah, it, it buzzes. I don't know if that's the woofer buzzing or like a power transformer inside buzzing, but you know what? I wouldn't be able to have this thing on when I wasn't playing it because that would drive me insane. Anything like that that makes that buzzing sound. Horrible. Drive me nuts. That'd keep me up all night. I can hear the voice coil slapping in there.
There we go. So on the back of this unit, there's actually a toll-free number. I'm just going to go ahead and try to get that. <laughs> 